This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so we can all agree Lauren Hill is a bit toxic, okay, especially to her fans. Uh, not showing up for shows, showing up late, uh, disappointing performances. I mean, this is a constant theme with her allegedly. I can only say allegedly because I've never experienced it for myself. But these have been reported. So now, Praz, I guess they were supposed to go on some world tour. And obviously, she didn't, uh, she canceled it. She got it canceled, right? So now, uh, Praz is taking her to court over this. Uh, he wants his money, and he wants it now, okay? Uh, he's had his own legal troubles. I don't know when he goes to jail maybe it's delayed but this 2023 let's see was managed to come on a 2003 okay so what is what is so federal court in Manhattan Tuesday essentially Praz and his legal team are saying Hill convinced her bandmates bandmate to come on a 2023 reunion tour ultimately for mostly her benefit 2024 trek <clears throat> into the picture that one was subject to gross mismanagement, according to Praz's lawyers. Instead of splitting it equally into thirds, she was getting to be, be about 40% of the gross. Praz alleges that the payment was much less than expected due to bloated production costs and because the tour ending sooner. Furthermore, he says, Hill uh, told Live Nation himself and the Wyclef uh, they agreed to extend the tour and make an extra million dollars, but she supposedly kept all that to herself. And he says he turned, she turned down five million from Coachella to avoid letting Praz pay off his debt. That makes sense. She's kind of petty. Uh, <laughs> this is great. So then, <clears throat> he's been charged with ten pounds, including cons uh, conspiracy witness tampering. And failing to register as a foreign agent uh, back in 2019 so for this whole campaign thing that he got into uh, for, for presidential purposes. You know, this is, that's a whole thing in itself. I don't know, man. Who knows what's going on here? WAC 100 backtracks his claims that Drake sent a season to desist. He now claims that someone dropped a tip in his whack 100 show and he ran with it or he just read it out but no he really ran with it he really believed this and stood by it 100 percent because he said it on uh, adam 22 show he said it on a bunch of stuff uh so this is not true D uh, drake has come out and said this is not true and if they have to produce the season to assist um and if they can, he'll pay them. But WAC 100 also goes off, and he's right about this. Yo Gotti is the subject of a F, you know, federal investigation because of all the craziness that's gone on. Against the past, that, there was. I would say for the past eight years, I'd say, between him and Dolph, maybe even longer, nine years. I would even say, I would even cut it to like six years because 2015 to 2021, Dolph died in 2021, right? So everything's coming out now. You could say eight years because Jook died earlier this year, right? Anyways, uh, where's WAC 100 talking about this? He makes a good point. Let's see. Where is this? Uh, I see. I hate it when these things don't save. Let me let me pull it up real quick. It's important. All right, Drake one whack one hundred season desist. Rollo, Melissa Ford. Here it is. That yo Gotti say your prayers. You better say your prayers. You know they coming, don't you? You know they, they coming. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. That 
nigga got up there and said, they said, didn't CMG pay for your attorney 50000 Yeah. But they didn't give it to me. He said, yeah. But they paid for it because you killed off, right? Yeah. Well, that was your compensation, right? Mm. See him? See him? He said, well, yeah, they gave the attorney 50000 Yeah, because I killed off. You dead. He was the exec of that company. That's your brother. That's going to get... He, that's next. Watch. Remember I told you. Ooh, yeah, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be smart to blame it on the dead man, though? No, no he was part of the yeah. company. Yeah, they saying okay. CMG, yeah. they're going to classify it as a game. They're going to try to thug it. Now, let's let's do the math. CMG and PRE shooting all at the, you know, the back in the Carolinas. Motherfuckers doing so, shot the sprinter a hundred times, bulletproof. This dead. PRE, that going to take it and paint the perfect movie these two things are game and your gang paid this dude attorney 50,000 because you hired him to do a hit for a honey they coming damn i heard that i said y'all didn't hear that shit? yeah I, I heard it when he was yeah, testifying crazy. oh my god i said oh damn that yeah, god he probably won't make it to christmas to be honest with you like, you know, not meaning not being alive. I think that they're going to arrest him. It's all allegedly, but it's rumors. But it's looking like that's where things are headed. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.